example, basically, you know, the first game at home is always a lot of excitement and um, everybody is nervous uh, how we're going to perform and then uh, what we're going to do on the field. That, uh, but I think these two weeks uh, since the Colorado game help us to um, get on our feet a little bit, work on some things. And, and as you saw today, I mean, that was uh, pretty good stuff. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with the three points. Um, the second goal was just beautiful. I mean, there's a pa good passing, good cross, and um, I'm glad all, all of them had that goal. You know, is a, is a, is a, you know, uh, that was that was something. Um, Fargus had was pretty active, got the goal. Obviously, is this what you were expecting? Is that it? Pretty much uh, control the air. Absolutely. I mean, you can you can see the elevation of his jump and then uh, the, the the way he had it. So, uh, um, I mean, Ricketts is a great goalie. I mean, he saved couple before, I mean, one from Chad and Eddie Gavin, uh, but uh, but that was that was you know perfect perfect shot. What was the lift you got from that red card when Montreal had that red card? I mean, it's, you know, is uh, you play men men up, but sometimes it's not uh, not that easy to play, you know, because you know you have to probably you, uh, that's what we had told halftime, you know, we have you have to we have to um, uh, run even more, I mean, get open and, and uh, be more uh, clean on the ball, uh, because the last thing you want is just. Uh, to lose the game, and then uh, when somebody scores a goal, when you actually play men up, uh, that psychologically would, wouldn't be good. So, um, obviously, you know, uh, he took a risk. Uh, you know, he hit him with the elbow. So that's that's a punishment that this, this should be. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you saw out of Sean Francis <clears throat> today? I think Sean played with a little bit more confidence. I think we started the game. Uh, very shaky, I think. There were two crosses where they should, uh, he should mark the, the different different person on the field. Uh, there was one free header from uh, Nayasi, but we're going to talk about that later on. Um, but overall, I think you know where the cross uh, for the second goal, and then uh, defending one against one against whether Nayasi or Brom was very good. Obviously, Olman had the goal. What do you think about how him and Emilio play together? I think the entire team play well. Uh, so uh, I think we work a lot of uh, of, of their movement, uh, where they have to go, and then. Uh, given, given, give us uh, different options, and I think you know uh, they were very active today. Was there a little bit of frustration? Uh, some of the chances that Montreal had, especially on the counter, it seemed that uh, you know they got past or, or, or seemed to be tied pretty well to, to beat the trap. Obviously, you know you would like to keep the uh, you know the chances, chance, day chances to the to minimum. Uh, but you know this is a good team. I mean, is they going to get some chances against the other teams too? Uh, but. Uh, that only give Andy a chance to be a man of the match. What do you think of the how the formation worked out your four four two rotation? Uh, I think I think uh, you're playing at home and then uh, you know uh, I think it uh, worked pretty well today. I think especially uh, having Sebastian and then uh, Francis going forward. Was, how much was, the, was in your thought about putting Schoenfeld on as a sub that you know Montreal caught him and was there a little bit of relying on an edge there for, for him taking that personally? Um, I, you know, Montreal cut him because it's not not because he's a bad player. Probably they cut him because for diff probably different reason. Probably maybe, maybe they have too many forwards. Maybe maybe it's uh, other circumstances. So, um, and today when I told him before before he came in, he said, "You're not playing against you know decision that they made. You play for the Columbus Crew." So uh, because sometimes you know is is that you know is, that doesn't mean that Jesse Marsh made a mistake. I mean that means that you know they have maybe so many forwards and then. Uh, they put their uh, eggs in somebody else's basket, but uh, so uh, I think I think uh, Aaron is a good player, and then uh, you know we sign him, and I think he's going to be um, a good for us. Looked like they came out pretty aggressive. They weren't content to just come in and play for a little tie. Uh, how big was Andy in the first couple of minutes here? A couple of big saves. Um, <clears throat> he did he did very well. I mean today, and um, he was very aggressive. Uh, I think he was very sharp. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know he. Uh, he helps uh, us win this game. Were you relieved at all that they took some of the Nyasi off at half? Obviously, he's a, he's, a, he's a key player for them. I mean, every time you know the, other, the opposite team takes the, the key player of the field, is a, is, a, is, a, is a positive for us. But uh, you know what? They put down a big forward, and I think he had a chance in the second half um, when we played the offside trap, and uh, the, the, and then so um, I think you know. Uh, um, depend depend what uh, what was um, uh, what Jesse was thinking about. So, but uh, uh, Nayasi is a good player. Both of them, the, uh, uh, these players are good. Robert, um, you, know, you know everybody looks at it as well. They're an expansion team. You should get a win, but you don't look at it that way because anybody can beat anybody. Well, you can talk about the expansion team. I mean, they took the 
good players from other teams, and then they sign some some other players. I mean, they that's how the expansion team works. And then obviously, you know, they um, they have there's a good environment in Montreal. I think they have 60,000 people first game, and then uh, expectation is good. Uh, I think uh, that's a good organization. So uh, uh, I think you you can you can talk about expansion expansion team, but uh, I think you know as a uh, they they more than the expansion team. Um, the, the way they play, they um, especially at home, and they came here and they were afraid to play. So um, they're gonna pay some price for for maybe attacking this or defending that. But uh, but they are a good team. So uh, I always look like you know playing against a good team instead of playing against expansion team. That's that's a mindset. Uh, he has felt his hamstring a little bit, so that we didn't want to take, we didn't want to take any risks. Until recently, Bernardo jumped up in that chart to take over and start for Dilly Duca. How do you think his performance? Did, did it meet what you were expecting from him today? Um, I think I, 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 you know, Bernardo is a good player. I expect more from him. Uh, obviously, he showed us a little bit in the second half what he can do, and uh, he changed his speed and go forward, go um, after the defender. Defenders, uh, so um, I expected more from him. But uh, um, Delhi is injured, and uh, so uh, you know he get to start today. I think he did a pretty good job. I mean, he, you know, everybody on the field was pretty good.